Hello everyone, and welcome. Now we're going to be changing things up a little bit today. Uh, it would normally be Geiselsberg today, but instead I'm doing Stone Valley because I need a little bit more time for the Geiselsberg episode this week. What we're going to do though, is we're going to start selling some silage. You can see I've got this guy here. I bought some conveyor belts over. Can't remember if I bought them or leased them. Uh, no, I actually bought them. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go and get this guy sold. I believe we're going to Bales. That's what I think. Yes, we are. We're going to Bales. Because I don't think we can afford... Where's the silage over here? Where's it gone? I'm sure there was a BGA. I'm sure there was. I'm not going crazy, am I? Ah, it's there. Yeah, value 2.9. <coughs> ah, unless, unless. Let's have a look. Field leasing. Uh, what field is it? Field 37. Maybe I could lease it and then that way I could use it. Ooh, what did I say? I'm forgetting already. Field 37, right. Can we lease 37? Buy or lease? For five, lease per day, 58,000? No, we're not doing that then, that's insane. Right, so over to Bales it is then. Let's get going. And, uh... We've got something new today. We've obviously only just got the cows, and we've got a big lump sum of cash at the moment. But uh, I would like to get a different animal. It is unfortunately an animal I've had before, but there's a mod that has only just come out. Um, I don't actually know when it came out, because I haven't been checking Farming Simulator, I haven't been checking Mod Hub over the weekend. So I'm not 100% sure. Could have come out on Friday. Um, I'm recording this at the m on a Monday. Ready for you lovely people to watch it on Wednesday. That's just the way I roll. And of course it is hot still. Yes, it's very hot. Uh, the good news is that it is starting to cool down. Tomorrow should be the first cool day for me. Cooler, at least. Um, and it's... It has rained today, actually. Which is very good. But now it's hot again, which means it's just nice and muggy. Exactly what everyone wants. Okay. So. Can I reverse in there? using just these mirrors. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. First off, I need to be able to see the barn. That would of course be very useful. I managed to get there. Woohee! I amazed myself there. We're not going to make a fortune from this, but it's going to be a good amount. Let's watch it go in. Oh look, that beacon light is still flashing, and now it's flashing on the underneath. This guy really needs a clean as well. Probably the trailer as well. Most definitely. <clears throat> Almost there. So, 37,500. Like I said, it's not going to make us rich. But it's also going to help a little. So, back over to the field. I think we'll check how much we've got in the pit. If we've still got loads of room in the pit. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Uh, not room in the pit, loads of silage in there, then um, I can fill up again. May as well make ourselves another 37,000 if we can. 
every little helps after all. So turn right here. Need to get the fields re-drilled. Uh, that is quite a priority to be honest. Because while they're not drilled, we're not making money. And our cows are not producing that much milk, I don't believe. We do, luckily though, have plenty of TMR, especially as I haven't progressed the day. Uh, probably should have progressed the day, but I haven't. Right, let's see what we've got in the pit. 224,000, yep. Let's, let's get another full load. Let's do it. So we will switch off the engine and leave this guy here. He should keep going. Ah, I think I need to turn the belt back on. Yep, there we go. Sorted. Although, hmm. Looks like we need to go. I don't know if that's forwards or backwards we need to go. Backwards. Okay. And then that will mean. That is full extension. Right, okay. So we need to move the truck in a bit. Luckily, that's not a problem for us. And this has been almost seven minutes of me waffling. So we need to get on and do what I wanted us to do. There we go. Right. So, let's drop down from there. What we're going to do is we're going to buy a horse pen. Now, it's not a normal horse pen. It is the new horse breeding mod. So we are going to use this. Now, uh, of course, I need to make sure he's away from the edge of the field. I think that'll be fine. Look at that. So, he requires water, hay, uh, water, hay, straw, uh, and oats. So I think I have some hay. Yes, I do, don't I? I definitely have some hay. Would you like to pay $4,900 to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the horse water trough? No. Not right now, because... Don't I have the option to put in the water pipe? No? Oh, okay. So I do have to do this. Yes. Local plumber will arrive at 6 to restore your new fill system. Installation will be completed in 8 hours. Okay, so someone's going to arrive tomorrow to plumb us in. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Well, in that case, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Does this count as a storage? No. A factory? No. Well, I guess we need to get ourselves some straw, some hay, uh, some oats as well. How are the cows doing? Well, we're slowly but surely getting towards the point where we can actually have some more animals. Grass is ready to cut again. So I'm not sure what to do with that. I think... I think I'm going to turn that beacon off. I shouldn't have left that on. And then I think a good thing to do would be... To go and... We're going to have to lease a tractor again. I don't think I can afford to buy one. Not yet. At least uh, large tractors. 
I think I checked for the quad track. There was another quad track up here. The Steiger series, yeah, that one. Which I like. That's 532 for a 692. It will go red. The Michelins are nice. That's a weight. Jewels. Jewels, but bigger. Jewels, a little bit wider. Wider. Triples. Single. I think we should have these big, chunky things. We have to install AFS, which is a bit stupid because we also have to pay for global positioning system. Uh, US config, yeah. Hitch only. Uh, yeah, we don't need a rear linkage. This is going to be a tractor for just doing the seeding. So, there we go. We've just blown all our money at once. Still got the cotton in storage, though. So there we go. We've got a lovely new tractor. Let's get him down to the field then and we can start some ploughing. It would be good if we ploughed ourselves some oats. Of course we're not going to need that many oats for just two horses. But oats are worth a lot so it's good to keep them. Right. Here's the beacon. Not too shabby. Ooh. Oh, I can open the door. Very nice. Uh, what else can I do? That's pretty much it. Yep. This is a nice big chunky tractor though. This is going to be able to pull our cedar, that least cedar that costs us an absolute fortune. But it's going to be able to pull that nice and easily, and I think I'm going to return that cedar afterwards. I don't think we should keep it any longer because it's costing me an absolute fortune. Um, we might want to put the hazard lights on. Uh, which one is it for hazard lights? That one. Yeah, as we're taking up half the road. Right, I'll get down to the yard and then we can. Uh, started on the seeding. Okay, so back in the yard, let's get ourselves hooked up and then we can head over. So I'm pretty sure that it's this guy first. Good job this is all our lawn. Right, now here comes the tricky bit. Apologies, that's just an alarm on my phone to remind me to do something. Right. Okay, so we've got plenty of seed in here. Now we just need to get out of here without destroying everything. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually... Whoa, that was some serious slippage. I am going to do the field that was previously cotton. The other field I will do it off screen because it's a massive field and it's been done so many times before. Now, what seed we want oats? There we go. So we've got plenty of fertilizer, plenty of seed. This is not going to take too long either, I don't think. So this will be good. All right, get down to the field and we'll get started. All set up, so let's get cracking. Get these oats drilled. Oh, whoops, we've just drilled oats in a grass field. That wasn't very clever, was it? I don't have GPS set up, not for this first run. This first run I will just do by hand. 
and then I'll do the others with GPS I think but this isn't such a long job because this is the smaller field and there is some squeaking going on in the background my cats are asking for something I don't know what but they want something which is pretty typical I don't really think we need the beacon on in the field actually I'm not sure that's a necessity I'm interested to know what happens here is he going to destroy the hay or grass or whatever that is yes well that's fine because I had forgotten to pick it up okay let's get ourselves lined up probably need to take some nice wide turns here try and avoid turning so quickly also fast as well maybe you don't do it so fast okay see there we go serious skidding okay right heading is 90 so heading is 90 auto width set that to 0 and heading 90 okay now alt and x uh, put the lines on just so I can see them for now oh no oh no what on earth happened there and that's too far off this is not going well set A and 90 from here and alt and X there we go that's better okay turn him on drop him down and off we pop I will leave a gap at the end for headland and I will finish that at the end I think that's going to be the best way of doing this and let's check how's the fertilizer status look at this see our oaks climbing in over the top so we've got some dark blue where we had tram lines before that's fine it's not a big deal um, I can change this, can't I? I can change this to current spray rate is 300 liters a hectare. That's fine. Uh, is it this? All this? All this? No, it's none of them. Okay. I'm just going crazy. I thought it told me earlier that I could change the unit, but maybe I, that was just me being stupid. Okay. I think what we're going to do, I'm actually going to skip a row. That's going to make it a bit easier for turning. just because we've got these massive pylons in the way of course I don't know, we don't need to skip a row actually we can do it, just about so let's go again right, and I think now I should stick it onto a time lapse and we can just uh, get this field done nice and quickly. So see you in a moment.
Okay. Field is almost done. This is the last line now, and then we've just got to do that headland at the end that I missed. It's a shame, because I've bought this massive tractor to be able to do really big jobs with, but because of the price of the cedar, I'm actually going to be returning this straight afterwards. So it probably seems a little bit stupid to have bought such a big tractor, but we are going to get big equipment. We're going to be on this series, on this map, for a, a while longer. Um, I do already know where I'm going to move both this series and Geiselsberg to. Unless anything comes out in the next few weeks to change my mind, I know where we're going. And I know that it's going to be very cool. So, I know that uh, buying a tractor, we're not going to lose that much. It's a good investment. And it's going to help us out, plus it is just a game, so it's nice when it is just a game to be able to do things like have big equipment, do the big jobs more quickly, that kind of stuff. Take out traffic signs very easily, you know, all these good things. All right, now we need to get ourselves lined up well. Otherwise, we're going to end up making a real mess here. In fact, lining up well is not what I just did at all, then. I'm really not very good at turning the seat over without smashing the uh, cart at the back. A grain cart? Is that what it's called? No, 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 no. Come on. Stay, 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 stay. Basically, I just want the edge to overhang the field very slightly. Yeah, that's, that looks good. Right, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Turn off GPS completely. Let's get this done. And then, yeah, that is this field done. And I think what we'll do, skip forward to the next day, and then we can get some horses. That sounds like a good plan to me. We're going to have to buy some oats, I think. We might be able to just give them the hay, but I think the oats make them more efficient. But then again, this is a standard game, which means we're going to get oats quite quickly. And this field has been fertilised once. Certain parts of it count as being fertilised twice. And we're going to have an abundance of oats. Enough to start our own horsery, I was about to say. What, what are they called? Stable, that's the one. Horsery. I'm talking nonsense now. Because, yeah, as much as I would like to keep this equipment, just going back to that point, the per day cost is just extravagant. It's just, I can't do it. I need to own the machine. Cannot lease this for more than a day. It's just too much. Alright, get him folded up. We're not going to empty it because I didn't... I did pay for this seed, but I didn't do it very well. I just did a rough approximation of paying for the seed. It was because I couldn't get the seeder loaded. So we're not going to bother paying for it, which actually means let's return them now. At least then I know I am not going to forget. Returned and returned. Right. So now our leasing cost is going to be much, much lower. Right, on to the next day, and we can get some, ourselves some horses then. It is a new day, so that means I am going to sell some silage to start off that new day. We're not expecting a fortune. We know from last time we had 37,500. If we can get the same amount, I'm happy, because the leasing cost overnight was only twelve and a half thousand dollars whereas the previous nights it was twenty seven thousand so 
But we're doing a lot better there. Returning those to um, th that cedar pack was very useful. Okay, so stylage is not worth anywhere near as much as it was. Okay, well, we're going to do horses anyway, so let's go and see the horses. Right, so you can see they are in the process of building the pipeline, which is, that is really cool. I like that. I really like that. So, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fly up for a moment. I'm going to take a little shot of this. I think that's awesome. There we go. Right, let's drop back down. So, what do we need to do? We need to buy horses. Uh, then we're going to need to... We'll water them later, because there'll be watering available. Right, what colour do we want? Let's go for that beautiful brown. And then we can only put two in here. So... Let's go for the chestnut. Here we go, so that's 10,600. Nice. So we've now got two horses. And, uh, well, I'm not sure if the guys will agree with this. But I'm going to change the names. It's going to be Elite and Six Wheeling. Oh, look at that. Because horses don't naturally have product at reproduction rates, we do it like that. That's cool. So, oats and hay, water and straw. We can sort out hay. Hay is definitely available. Oats, not yet. And I don't really want to buy any oats, to be perfectly honest. So, let's get in here. This guy can empty what he's, uh, what he's allowed to. Don't know how much we can actually fit. Wow, okay, the cows are taking quite a bit. I think they're going to take everything. They also need a good clean out by the looks of it. The milk is starting to increase though, that's good. How much is milk worth at the moment? 9.25, 9.6. I don't know if those are good prices. Oh, look at that. Only 5% left in there. Right, let's go and grab the forage wagon. Looks like we're going to have to make some more hay. But I need to get that other field seeded first. Seeding that is going to be done off screen. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to buy a seeder, because obviously I don't want to lease, that was the whole point of returning the other one was to avoid leasing. So I'm going to have to buy something, which means I'm going to have to take out a loan, and it's definitely going to be smaller. For sure. So yeah, we're going to have to get hay made for both the horses and TMR, because we've only got... 0.39 tons, which is 5,000 litres. That's not going to do it, is it? It's not going to cut it. But, anyway. Let's put this here. Okay. How much are they going to take? Everything. Okay. And it looks like they could probably do with another 3,000 more, maybe. Of course, I do also have to ride these horses. So this is going to be it for today. Apart from, we're going to take... Ooh, who should we take out? Who's who? That's Elite. That's Six Wheeling. Alright, come here. You're coming with me, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Let's take six wheeling out for a little walk. There we go. We won't use horse helper, because we're only going to have two horses for now. If 
Well, as they breed, obviously we're going to get a new horse each time that they breed. So we will get a paddock to put the new younglings into, the foals. And with those foals, we'll be able to um, put them into a small paddock, maybe, and grow them up. I, I didn't want to do horses again, because it's uh, it feels a little bit like cheating sometimes. But when I saw this horse breeding mod, I thought, well, let's just do it. Let's just try it out. We're about halfway through the series. Maybe we only use them, only make one or two foals. Maybe that's enough. But look at this. I think you can slow down a bit now. There we go. Good old six wheeling. And, yeah. Apologies, Six and Elite, if you don't like the horses being named after you. If you don't, please tell me and I'll change the names. <laughs> There's plenty of other people I could choose. <laughs> or I could just give them some random names suggested by viewers instead. But, you know. What is the fun in that? So I will continue riding. Next episode... I will have finished the seeding in there and we'll be making hay again. But for now, thank you very much, ladies and gents. Goodbye from Six Wheeling, Elite, and myself. Ta-ra!